matter. Is there any greater pleasure in a man's life than to visit the theatre? Oh, you could practically smell the art. Alright, when you go to the upper, first thing you want to do is drop your coat off here. Don't leave anything in your pockets. Also, uh, and overall, if they put it underneath the counter rather than hanging up on a hook, hook uh, feel free to call them out on it because it's going to get all, like, all crumpled down there. When you go into the opera, of course, uh, the true the true connoisseurs of the arts will have their backstage pass, so I have my backstage pass right here. That just shows this gentleman here. Backstage pass, there we go. Want to dress right for the opera, you don't want to just like jeans and t-shirt it. No, you, don't, you want to dress up nice, dress up nice. Also, for God's sake, don't leave your rubbish under the seat. Put it in the bin where it belongs. Some of the main pleasures of the opera you want to do in the dark, but... You know, just, just so you don't disturb people. No, they don't want to look over, see you picking a door lock. Just wait till the lights go off. Take care of it then. So long as you're not like, you know, loud. I mean, maybe I just want to like, you know, just rub one out. Just in the dark. Not, not bothering anybody. I'm not making a sound. Oh. Hands down my favorite scene. What are you doing back here? All the operas out there. You Commoner! Some people just don't appreciate the arts like I do. Best place to see art up, up high, up high. You don't want to like being in the splash zone. We're about to see it in the best possible position. As the music escalates. He takes aim. And... Tapped in the fucking head. My soul sings every time. Are you here to smell the art too? Now every time I go to the opera, I like to, I like to leave my own pieces of art behind. Just you know, just put it right there. Just so it's in a place that truly appreciates my genius. Just, just a little something I threw together in my spare time. Not that anyone notices. That's nah, just. Sitting there, on the mantle, under the spotlight that I spent all day setting up. Nobody says a bloody thing. I just don't appreciate how much I worked on that, but... See, this is why I come to the opera, you know, to just <laughs> get away from everything. <laughs> Listen to me prattle on. It's Michael D'Angelo, his most famous role as Bill the Nazi. You know, I just want to, I like to take little souvenirs, but, you know, I take something, you gotta always pay for it. So just always, just always pay for, pay for what you want to take. Ooh, his wardrobe. I would really in mind if I just smelled some of these. <laughs> I wonder what that Nazi uniform smells like. What could I say? Art just drives the women wild. Cretin! <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I think I sneezed. That looks heavy, I should probably hold the door open for you. Let's hurry back! The show's already started! What do you say? I'm impressed by this guy's ability to seem like a woman. That movie just left. Here it comes! So singing at this moment. Bravo! Bravo! Uh -huh. Standing ovations all around. Standing ovation. See, all right. This right here, one of my favorite scenes. He looks up. Sees his lover dead on the floor. He runs to him. Down the hall. <gasps> he trips. A chandelier falls on his head. 
and the maniac who dropped it on him casually walks out before anybody can notice that he was looking very suspicious. And see. Shit, that guy actually died. <laughs> Life imitating guy, I suppose.